We're coming to the end of another year of the Kardashian-Jenner's white knuckle grip on pop culture. And oh my gosh, these ladies had a lot going on this year from divorce to engagement. to this look specifically to pregnancy. 2021 has been a major one for what's basically the American equivalent of the royal family. Let's be honest. Let's take a look at some of their biggest moments as we say goodbye to 2021 and hello to 2022. I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Okay, it was just weeks into 2021 when the Kimye divorce news broke. This feels like it was 7,000 years ago, but it was actually just earlier this year. On February 19th, Kim Kardashian filed for divorce from Kanye West. There were reports for months saying she was struggling with his erratic behavior, but there was nothing really confirmed until then. These two still haven't finalized things, but the divorce has awakened us all to the very important fact that Kim and Kanye had $300,000 of livestock. Now these are probably horses, but I like to imagine them hanging out with goats and chickens, so don't take that from me. Now we have to contend with Kim dating Pete Davidson after meeting on the set of SNL. Side note, Kim was really good as the host of SNL. Her monologue was hilarious. She made fun of herself, her sisters, OJ Simpson, who said Kimmy wasn't funny. Also, obviously this little smooch with Pete ignited something in her. So they first had their little handhold moment on the roller coaster and we were all like, huh, maybe. Then they went to dinner a bunch and we were like, maybe? And now they're out holding hands and PDAing and celebrating birthdays together. And I'm like, huh? Make it make sense. But I am happy for them though. I love love and I love the idea of Kim Kardashian moving out to Staten Island. Speaking of love, Miss Kourtney Kardashian has been living her punk rock princess happily ever after ever since she started dating Travis Barker in January 2021. Again, it feels like these two have been together forever. It's only been a year. They're really cute and they're really into PDA, so I wasn't super surprised when Travis popped the question in October 2021. It was this adorable beachside proposal. There were roses. It was very sweet. I was totally into it. Then there was the whole Scott Disick of it all, but if he and Court are cool, we can let that go. If not, Court, let us know. Now, I can't wait for their wedding. I feel like it's gonna be chic goth, which is what I was aiming for in middle school, but then I sharpied my hair blue, so I don't think I reached there. Now, as if that wasn't all enough, Kylie Jenner confirmed in September that she and Travis Scott were expecting baby number two. When they welcomed Stormy in February 2018, Kylie kept things totally private, so I was kind of surprised they were open about it this time. Although, I think she made the right choice. If you compare how interested in details we were during her secret pregnancy, scouring through Snapchats looking for clues, versus the general happiness for her second one, I think that that's a good choice. She's also been posting all these cute little bump fits. She seems to be enjoying this pregnancy more than the first, which is great. Now, may I suggest a name? Sunny? Sunny and Stormy? Come on, that's super cute. And if they choose it, I would like royalties. Thank you. Not everything's going so good in the world of Travis and Kylie, though. Travis is facing a $2 billion lawsuit, as well as many others, in the wake of the Astroworld crowd rust tragedy that left 10 people dead, including a nine-year-old child. Now, Travis is being accused of inciting fans to rush the stage, encouraging people to sneak into the concert past capacity, and not stopping the concert once he saw what was happening. Now, he has denied knowing what was going on, he apologized for what happened on Twitter, but people didn't really think it felt very genuine, and there are a lot of people demanding he face justice for the festival tragedy he headlined. Let's move on to something a little lighter, with Kendall Jenner. Now, Kendall is the most private Car Jenner sister, so we don't know a ton about her relationship with NBA player Devin Booker, but we do know that they marked their one-year anniversary in June 2021. Also, he made the gram and they had a PDA moment, which makes this possibly the most serious relationship Kendall has ever had. And I love to see it. Good for you, Kenny. Okay, even as someone who pays a lot of attention to the Kardashians, this next one's kind of confusing, so bear with me. We all know the saga of Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. They got together, she got pregnant, he cheated on her, they broke up, got back together, he cheated, rinse, repeat. They were quarantining together in 2020 and attempted to give things another go, but then they broke up less than a year later. Both have been pretty cryptic about what's going on. But just in October, it was reported that the two are kind of in a unique spot of being very close, they're co-parenting, they're not dating anyone else, but also they're not together. I don't know, it sounds tiring to me, but as long as they keep it together for true, I'm happy for these two. Oh wait, also, did I mention Caitlyn Jenner tried to run as the Republican candidate for California governor? Yeah, it didn't really work. She got blasted pretty early on for complaining about how her friends really didn't want to live in California anymore because of the unhoused population during an interview she did in her private jet hangar. That is tough to come back from. Oh man, this next season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians is gonna be so good. Oh wait, no it's not because it ended in June. Just when we needed it the most, the e-reality show wrapped after 20 seasons. But don't worry, the Kardashians have a secretive Hulu reality show they're filming about their lives. And Kim said it could drop as early as January or February 2022. Happy 2022 to us. Okay, other than that, we've got nothing. No name, no format, nothing. 
Kim said it will show a different side of the family, and I'm not saying they don't have one, but I feel like I've seen every angle of these people. What is there left to reveal? Either way, I'm hooked and I will be watching. Keeping up with the Kardashians too, Revenge of the Kardashians. Just spitballing here. Now it's been quite the year for all of us, but I would like to at least thank the Kardashians for keeping us entertained throughout it all. Let me know in the comments what you think their biggest moment of 2021 is, and head over to popculture.com for more. Also, we're gonna have a ton of these year-end videos, so hit subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Until next time, happy 2022, happy new year. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call.